Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rob Squad and the Creators. And oh my goodness, today's guest is simply amazing just to keep it into a few words. But before we get into all the good stuff, if you guys are new, you are here as always with your boy Jay. Hey y'all, you're also here with Girl Amber. Now, some songs hit number one and some songs define an entire era. Now, the guest we have today has a song that did both. Even more special is the writer, guitarist, and lead singer of that song is here with us today. So please help us welcome to RSATC, Mr. Tom Higginson from the Plain White Tees. Welcome to the channel. Hey, hey what's up, guys? It, it is an absolute honor to have you here today. I, I, I just I had a quick question. You you mentioned you're from Chicago. Now, is your whole band, like all you guys, because we've, we've talked to other um, artists, other creators, you know, one thing a lot of them have talked about has been like, oh, well, this guy's from this side of the United States. This guy's from this side. You know, we're getting to the plain white tees. Are you guys all from around the same area? Technically, most of us are, but we had one, uh, our guitar player, uh, his name is Tim. He actually lives in Austin, Texas right now. Cool. And he grew up in Santa Barbara, California. And so the story there was, yeah, we were just like a local band in Chicago, but we got like, you know, we were started to tour and we got a manager out in LA and everything. And um, one of the guys in our band quit, our guitar player quit in Plain White Tees. This was in 2002 or 2003 or something. And um, so our manager was like, well, this other band, the, a band that we were friends with uh, that he managed, like they were breaking up. And he was like, oh, you guys should see if Tim wants to be in the band. And we like had one rehearsal with Tim Scott and Tim. it was like, cool, yeah, we yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, that's our guy right there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, most of us Chicago, Chicago born, you know. We said that this song defined an era. So this is like a little bit different for us because most of the time on the channel, there's the songs that we go into like knowing nothing about. But this was a song that in our era was one that we even have friends name their children after. Yes. So we're excited to see what you're gonna do for us today. We know it's gonna be something very, very new because even though we have heard the song, we get to hear a pretty cool version from you today. Yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, kind of do my thing and play it for you guys live. I hear that this was the first time you've ever had like a live performance. Yes, first so there's a lot of things ever. happening here. First. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Was, I've played the song about 40,000 times probably, but you know, for you guys, this is brand new. I like it. And, and I'm glad you brought that up because uh, <clears throat> you said you've played this song so many times. It's gotten, like I said, yeah. 1.3 billion listens. Is, is, is this a song that, like, do you ever get tired of performing it? A lot of artists like hate their hits or whatever, yeah. right? They hate playing those songs. Not me. I love it because it's huh. like the moment, you know, when, when, when people come to the, the concert, it's like because the song was so big, you know that that's one of the reasons that they came. Yeah. You, know? you know, everybody loves that song. So it's like a nice, it's like that's why you you pick up the guitar to, and, and write songs. That's why you want to be a musician to connect with people and to have those moments. Yeah. So yeah, it's like every night when we play Hey There Delilah, it's like that special moment and you just see the crowd, you know, like the smiles and the crowd lights up. Everybody's got their phone out. It's like a moment and... It's pretty special, you know? Yeah, because it means a lot to a lot of people. Like we said, we had friends name their kids after. I mean, mm. for me, it was the last song on my playlist when I was finished off a run in the evening. It was perfect. Oh, nice. You know, it was like really perfect to kind of finish off the run. I've, I've listened to it a lot. So I understand like what that moment would feel like playing it to people who appreciate it so much. And there's so many people who appreciate that song. No doubt. Yeah. And to hear it live, I mean, goodness. Like this is, this is a channel first and it is an absolute honor so when, whenever whenever you are ready mr tom you take it away sir okay well i hope i don't butcher it it's a little bit early here um you know <coughs> but i'm gonna do my best for you guys so, yeah um as you you didn't really say what song it is but it's hey there delilah that's right obviously by plain white tees mm. and uh yeah here you guys go What's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. Times Square can't shine as bright as you, I swear it's true. Hey there Delilah, don't you worry about the distance, I'm right there. If you get lonely, give this song another listen, close your eyes. 
Listen to my voice, it's my disguise I'm by your side Oh, it's what you do to me 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 What you do to me Hey there, Delilah, I know times are getting hard. Just believe me, girl, someday I'll pay the bills with this guitar. We'll have it good. We'll have the life we knew we would. My word is good. Hey there, Delilah, I've got so much left to say. If every simple song I wrote to you would take your breath away, I'd write it all. Even more in love with me, you'd fall, we'd have it all. Oh, it's what you do to me. 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 A thousand miles seems pretty far, but they've got planes and chains and cars. I'd walk to you if I had no other way. Our friends would all make fun of us. We'll just laugh along because we know that none of them have felt this way. Delilah, I can promise you by the time we get through, the world will never ever be the same. You're to blame. Hey there, Delilah, you be good and don't you miss me. Two more years and you'll be done with school. I'll be making history like I do. You'll know it's all because of you. We can do whatever we want to. Hey, Jay and Amber, here's to you. This one's for you. Oh, it's what you do to me. 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 What you do to me. Oh, oh. Everybody clapping. Uh, but you don't know how honored I feel right now. Th this moment right here, and make make sure y'all clip it, is my favorite, top two favorite moments since we've started all of YouTube. Yeah. Wow. Since, 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 we've wow. started, since we've started all of YouTube, this right here is in my top two. Yeah, I mean, I think the song, because the song is so incredibly beautiful, it's so soft and sweet, and it's like a, it's a, like a love letter, and hearing it played on the acoustic guitar, and hearing it just through headphones, you know. Sounds comic, identical. You know, internet, yes. Sounds identical. It sounds like what I remember. <laughs> we were falling in love. So like hearing this song that's like a love letter about like the future that, that has the potential and you know, like we're young, but like there's this beautiful world ahead of us. Like that's kind of what Hey There Delilah like stood for at the time. So it's crazy. Like this many years down the road like, that we're hearing it from the actual songwriter and, and lead And throw our name into the lyrics ah, and the actual Don't even, oh, that's going to live in my mind rent for forever. <laughs> forever. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah, we're going to clip that and I'll be clipped forever. Yeah. We'll hold on to that forever. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny when, when we wrote this song, like you said, it's this very small, intimate, acoustic love song. Yeah. Like, we, we're a little bit more of a rock band, Plain White Tees. You know, a lot of our songs are more up-tempo and, you know, full band and everything. So we kind of thought that this song was like, oh, this is really good, but like it'll never be a hit because it's this <laughs> small little thing, you know, and uh, thank God we were wrong. So <laughs> I, I just I feel like it's just the gentleness in it, the the chords in it are absolutely beautiful. And my question, you're like, 
what what was the story behind the song? Yeah, so actually uh, written about a real girl named Delilah. Uh, wow. Kind of a funny story. So she, I was going to a concert one night in Chicago um, with a friend of mine, my friend Kim. And uh, she, we were, as I was going to pick her up, she called me and she's like, hey, my friend Delilah, you know, she's going back to school tomorrow. She's got nothing to do tonight. Is it cool if we like pick her up? She lives right by me. Like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And so I pick up Kim and we cruise up to Delilah's house. Delilah walks out of her house and I'm like, like <laughs> who is this girl who you never, you know, you never introduced me to Delilah? <laughs> like, what's going on here? <laughs> and uh, so the whole night I'm just like being goofy and like just kind of, flirty like i've got no game at all so i was just like you know being like cheesy and <laughs> like, I make her laugh or whatever and at the end of the night when we dropped delilah off i was like i gave her a, a copy of our our old cd that we had out at the time called stop i gave her a copy of that and i was like hey you know i've got a song about you and she kind of looked at me like okay and then <laughs> walked away you know but then uh we kept in touch a little bit um uh, so yeah the next day she literally went back to school in new york uh she went to columbia out there and um she we kept in touch a little bit like online you know like and she would always ask me like oh where's my song where's that song you wrote for me and so literally i was like oh i better write kind of giving me the you know she's she's giving me the in here i need to i need to deliver um so i i had this guitar part that was kind of like i just kind of like i think i was trying to play some other song and i kind of hit this and i was like ooh, that sounds kind of cool like it was yeah. you know peak my ear right or perk my ear whatever and uh so then i'm like oh that's a cool little guitar part i'll write to that someday you know and so after delilah's been bugging me i was like oh i wonder if i just <laughs> wonder if that other that little guitar part would work and literally like the it just started it flowed out flowed is that the right word flowed, yeah. works, works. It, Get flowed, it. it flew <laughs> no, no. Yeah. it was like the, the flow it just it, it it came out of my mouth like perfectly like the whole first verse literally I didn't even have to think about it I was like hey there Delilah what's it like in New York City you know it's like the the idea of it was just literally that's that's what it was like this girl in New York that's a thousand miles away, but man, I know she's, you know, I don't have to see her to know she's so pretty tonight, you know, whatever. Wow. And so it was like that whole thing came out and I was like, whoa, this is actually really good. And then when I got to the chorus, the, oh, it's what you do to me. That was again, like the first thing that just like, it was me almost like getting the melody. And I was like, oh, I'll write real words to that later. Like I thought, oh, it's what you do to me. It was just like a filler mm -hmm. crap, you know, whatever. And, uh, then the more and more I like kind of listen to it or would play around with it. I was like, actually, I think that's pretty good. It's like a nice open emotional, you know, because the, the verses are full of all these little details. Yeah, about yeah. So having that chorus just be this like loose kind of like more vague, like yeah. you need, it just seemed to make sense. And I, I, feel, I feel like the crowd can get into that part too. Oh, because it's beautiful. Yeah. Everybody can sing. Oh yeah. yeah. No, it's but beautiful. Then, so here's the problem, though, is that I met this girl one night, and all I really knew about her is that she was pretty and she went to school in New York City. <laughs> so I was like, once I got through that first verse, I was like, oh, okay, what? How do I finish the song? <laughs> right. you know, what? So if you notice, like the second, like the rest of the song, I kind of turn it more like on me. Like someday I'll pay the bills with this yeah. guitar. Like you know, a little bit more like if I was in a long distance relationship with her. Like, what would be, what would I want to say? Or what would that like, yeah, what would that look like? Like you were saying that the hopefulness and, yeah. the, you know, like that, the yearning to kind of be together and to make something of your life, you know, kind of put the, kind of finish the song from my perspective, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy now, like hearing all of that, how authentic and real the lyrics were. It's like sitting here like, well, I like this and I knew she lived in New York City and I bet she looked really pretty that night. And that's literally, that's like the first part of the song. So I think it's really cool how authentic the verses are to like what you were just sitting there playing your guitar, just thinking of in the moment. Totally. My yeah. question is, do you know what Delilah's up to nowadays? The last time I had talked to her um, was before the pandemic. And, you know, we keep into, and by the way, here's the, 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 the bad part of the story. She had a boyfriend. Like, oh. <laughs> and like, she would come to our shows and she loved the song. Oh, yeah. 
but like she was always like like we never dated or anything like that yeah. so yeah oh yeah man oh. hey you're, you're you're dating a girl and then another dude another guy <laughs> makes a song about her why. that just blows up <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy must be something I, I gotta, <laughs> right yeah. right man that that, that <laughs> is so cool yeah so i hadn't talked to her so we but we kept in touch and as the song blew up and you know we would always, you know, a random text like, oh, my God, it was a question on Jeopardy today. Or oh, something. gosh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I hadn't talked to her in a minute. And I actually just reached out to her kind of recently, a couple months ago. And uh, from what I gathered uh, from just a quick text back and forth, she's living back here. Um, you know, I should just – let me let me just check my text right now because <laughs> I'm pretty sure – Yeah, I, don't want I, I mean, like how cool is it to have – a song made after you, especially when it's just so big. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like that. Yeah, I, mean, I think she loved it. And she was a runner. She ran at Columbia oh, and she awesome. almost actually made the Olympics. Uh, I don't know when that would have been. Um, so yeah, she was like that close to being yeah. an Olympic yeah. runner. Um, wow. Yeah. So here's the, here's the, the tea on Delilah. She is, she moved back to Chicago. She's in the suburbs with her, uh, I'm assuming husband, but she's got a, a six-year-old son. Oh, so that, yeah, that is awesome, That's Delilah. Cool. If you ever see this, hello. <laughs> I, think, I think she named him Tom, but I'm not sure. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that would be that'd be hilarious. He saw he saw that moment. He took it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tom! It has been an absolute pleasure, and thank you so much again for coming on the channel and being our first live performance. It's it's just something special and something I will definitely always remember. Sure. Well, it's an honor, honor to be here, you guys. Thank you. Well, before we let you go, is uh, any anything you want to let uh, the fans know before you get out of here? Um, well, we just put out a brand new album in November. It's our first self-titled album, so it has no name. It's just plain white tees. Um, the album cover is amazing. Oh, you know what? I got it right here. Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of absolutely. course. It's actually, I got the CD and then I've got this little, like, paper thing that's like not actually the oh, uh, I like it. take out plain white like, tees like mm -hmm. a t-shirt and then yeah the cd that is, cool. I like that, that is awesome yeah. so everybody make sure y'all go pick that up we will have uh the link down in the description to where they can go grab those cds at um are you are you guys touring uh this year uh we are yeah we just uh if you guys follow us on all the socials instagram and mm -hmm. everything uh plain white tees and my personal one is at higgy pop um, my last name's Higgins. Higgy Pop. Pop. I, I like <laughs> it. Some guys somewhere along the line just started calling me Higgy Pop, and it's stuck. <laughs> um, so yeah, follow us on, on uh, the socials, and yeah, we just announced uh, a bunch of tour dates this summer, and we actually just got word of a really fun fall tour that we cannot announce yet, but. Be looking so, yeah. out for it. Awesome. A lot of good, yeah. stuff. good stuff coming up this year, yeah. And the new album. We'll have all the details down below. Make sure you guys go check it out. This has been, like I said, one of the most memorable things that we've done here on the channel. And thank you again, Tom. But as we always send our RSR family out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you guys wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you all to the RSR family. But you have a goal every day just like we do. Let them know. All right, y'all, let's go out in this world. Let's spread some light and let's spread some love. Let's just try to make one person smile today. We love y'all. Have a great day. Till next time, see you guys later. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do.